This is the uh, third annual Sri Chinmoy 3100 mile road race. And the course is a uh, point, point 0.5488 mile loop We're in the suburbs of Jamaica, Queens. Uh, the runners have 51 days to complete the race. Uh, we start at 6 a.m. every morning and uh, the cutoff is at 12 midnight and then we take the runners home to their apartments and we start again. This race, it's so far beyond most people's comprehension, even in the ultra running world, that it's, it's, uh, it's difficult for them to, uh, to kind of put it into a perspective. Because this is the only event of its kind in the world, it's still like on the extreme end of ultra distance running. To see people do more than two marathons a day for 51 days is kind of like bewildering. The New York City Marathon has 31,000 runners. And how many first-time runners? 10, 15, 20,000 first-time runners. For them, that's their dream. And the satisfaction and the joy they get from that, from fulfilling that dream is, is untold. But where do you go after that? Is that the end of, of life? You have to have more dreams, more goals. And that's what this race is. and you go for a race like this, there's gonna be three or four times you're gonna make a soul search choice. Am I ready for this? Can I do it? It's a, it's a challenge, it's a spiritual journey, it's, uh, it's um, finding oneself um, during this journey. This race is not only a, a, a practical reality in that the runners have the capacity to do 62 miles a day for 51 days, but it has a spiritual reality that life has real meaning only when you can transcend and go beyond yourself. And this is a very practical and, and graphic illustration of that. To complete the race in the 51-day cutoff, the runners have to average just under 61 miles a day. Schuperberg, the only female runner, is, is averaging between 61 and 62 miles a day. She's the most consistent of all the runners. We've had, uh, just to give you an example, we've had uh, temperatures with the humidity 110 degrees. I don't know what it is, Celsius, but it's, it's enough to fry an egg on your head. And uh, she still maintained her pace. Uh, Ed Kelly, our fastest runner, and perhaps our most accomplished runner, uh, was hit quite severely by the heat. He had some other uh, peripheral problems, but the heat kind of exacerbated everything. There's three things you have to deal with. You, you have to deal with the course, which is a concrete surface. It's a, it's a beast. Me and Ed call this the beast. And then uh, you have the oppressive weather. We had some weather 101 degrees two days in a row. And that was just oppressive. And then you got to control your mind and keep intense focus and all that. In cool weather, it's much easier. When it's very, very hot, it's uh, um, it's very it takes away your concentration and focus. And this is nothing but a real mental um, challenge. Is that pancake? No, it's cinnamon raisin French toast. Yeah. Hey, don't hide the maple syrup. Take an egg almond for that. All mixed in together. A week ago, we lost our uh, runner from Switzerland. Hit a thousand miles, and it was just uh, mentally too too tough for him. Uh, physically, he was fine, and he had enough, and he left. Okay.
has 14 more left. Okay. And I wish everybody would relax because he is going to come in. He's got 14 laps to go. It's going to be another hour, 15 minutes. So if everybody takes a deep breath and focus, trust me, he will do his 14 laps and we'll get through this. You're, you could be an athlete, but you're nothing else, you're a champion. And they used to argue and fight. You only, you only won the title once. You only defend your title three times. So I always had that mentality of, uh, if you don't win, second, second. Nobody remembers second. You remember the good moments, the bad moments drift away.